As we enter the final stretch before the election, we're continuing to highlight some of the biggest races happening around San Diego. To La Mesa we go. Mayor Mark Arapostafis, I said that right, is running for re-election against Christine Alessio. We had his opponent on Fox 5 earlier this week. And this morning, we are joined by, see, the, I got it out of the way once, so now it's Dr. A. Well done. Well done. Dr. A, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you for uh, having for me. being here. Uh, the biggest issues for La Mesa voters, we were just talking, this would be, if reelected, your third and final term for yes. term limits. So yes. uh, you've had two terms. Yes. Uh, what are the issues that still face your city, and how do we fix them? Always public safety is number one, and our city has grown over the past years, and so what we need to do is grow our public safety. And so I was talking with uh, the police officers about that we need to have more officers we need to have more fire to reduce our response times and public safety is the number one thing in every city homelessness is probably our second and that's based on surveys that we've taken with the citizens and obviously it's a crisis across the country I want to uh, in January increase our funding to our home program homeless outreach and mobile engagement we've been able to house over 70 people permanently and instead of just spraying money at it there's a very tactical way that we do it we look at it and triage the problem and see who needs help with addiction problem who needs help with mental health and then who just needs a home and then we also have increased our budget to rental assistance trying to prevent people from becoming homeless. I just asked Mayor Todd Gloria of San Diego that the governor blocked the billion dollars worth of state aid, uh, including a lot for San Diego, 40 something million dollars, uh, saying that all the programs currently in place, just they're not working. They're not doing the job. What's your reaction to that? Well, I would disagree with that, humbly disagree that the, our home program is, it's a lengthy process because you have to engage hmm. each person, get their narrative, and then they have to accept the help that you're offering and so it it does take time but we've seen lasting uh effects and and progress and people are being housed and they're not being they're not going back into the homeless population let's go back into the time that you have been in office now you're asking for more time what uh, issues can you hang your hat on and you can tell voters look what i've done in, in these past years this is why i need more time well, our, our Safe Routes to School Safe Routes program making the, the streets safer. Obviously, public safety, like I said, we're, we're going to increase the, the number. But um, our parks, we're renovating our parks and we're making our streets safer, not just by paving our streets, but making sure that the sidewalks are safer, that we have better lighting. And those are, those are a lot of big things that we've done in the past four years. You mentioned safety, more fire, more police. But then the question always rests in, well, how are you going to pay for all that? People don't want to pay more in taxes, so where does the funding come from? How do you pay for those extra police officers, those extra firefighters, and retention and keeping them in La Mesa? We have had, uh, back in 2008, we passed a tax uh, increase on, on a sales tax, and that's called Measure L. And we do have that money, and that money is meant for general services. And so we need to allocate that, the, some of those funds and retention like you said we just hired a brand new police chief who's doing a fantastic job on hiring new officers young officers we have the the most female officers we've ever had i think our department's twenty percent now female so increasing the diversity in the officers as well and so so through our measure l we should be able to to be able to cover the, those hires you talk about public safety you talk about homelessness these are issues that quite often no matter the candidate that is sitting right here on this desk that we've been talking to over the past few weeks highlights as these major issues being in in their city would there be any other issue that is unique to you unique to the city that is important for you absolutely i i know that we've talked about public safety and, and homelessness but development is happening all throughout cities we're a built-out city uh, La Mesa, we're going to do a better job of notifying all of the citizens to tell them what our rights are, what's mandated by California state law, and how developers have the right to do different things, and bring them along through, through every aspect, and so they, they understand what development's happening so it's not sprung on them. And notifying the public and explaining that to them, this is California law, this is where we can get involved, this is where we can, there's some places that the law supersedes La Mesa. I wanted to, before we let you go, because uh, elementary school teacher, do you still teach second grade or? I teach, I taught second grade for 23 years and now I'm, I'm fourth through eighth at La Mesa Arts wow. Academy. Look at that. Uh, so if, 
as a politician now and also a teacher, your mindset and your temperament is perfect for kind of both jobs. You it think? is, but I've taught my kids about integrity my whole life, yeah. and integrity is binary. You either have it or don't, and once you go down the other path, it defines your character. There have been negative mailers about me about taking money from big development. I've never done that, or uh, yeah. supporting the mileage tax, never did that. There was one that even said that I took money from big oil. Now, I, when I was 19, I did have an, a, uh, an Arco um, Express card, <laughs> so I did get free coffee after every fill up. But other than that, you know, those things are all untrue, but I just tell, tell my students. And so I've never been negative. I'll never say anything about another candidate, and, and that's the way I'm gonna handle my candidacy. In, I love my city. Integrity is binary, I like that. Yes. Uh, Dr. A, Mayor of Mesa, we thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you so you. much for having Good me, you. appreciate it. Thank you. And a reminder, of course, Fox 5 is your local election headquarters. You can watch all of our interviews with the candidates on our website. Go to fox5sandiego.com slash election.